never stop doing great just because someone doesn't give you credit welcome to indices today the date is 4th february 2020 so we will cover today all the important current affairs of 4th february now you have to keep in touch with me till the end and you will get general knowledge bonus fact at the end of the video for the hindi current affairs video you can watch it as you will click on i button and if you are watching my channel first time then please like subscribe and share it with the other study groups all right now let's start the discussion and today's first question is who inaugurated the skill development center of hubli recently so answer is venkaiah naidu all right so recently vice president venkaiah naidu inaugurated the skill development center of hubli and on this occasion vice president said that you guys india's greatest heritage and it is also the most magnificent gift for the world and let me tell you hubli is located in the state of karnataka and uh, the basic aim of this initiative to increase aptitude towards employable skills and to increase working efficiency of probable and existing daily wage earners by giving monetary rewards and awards by providing quality training to them and here we are talking about karnataka so now let's discuss the important general knowledge questions what is the capital of karnataka so answer is bengaluru and currently who is the chief minister of karnataka so bs yedurappa is the current chief minister of karnataka and who is serving as the governor of karnataka so in the present time vajubhai wala is serving as the governor of karnataka now let's move on the next question who won the main singles title of australian open 2020 so answer is novak djokovic all right so recently novak djokovic won the main singles title of the australian open and in the final of the first grand slam of the year 2020 djokovic defeated dominic thiem of austria to win the main singles title and with this he won the 17th grand slam title and now he became the australian open champion for the eight times now let's have a look uh, you know five players who won the most grand slam titles so at the top roger federer who won the 20 grand slams and the second one rafael nadal 19 grand slams novak djokovic 17 grand slams pete sampras 14 grand slams while ray emerson won the 12 grand slams and now let's discuss about the australian open so as we discussed yesterday in in that video that it is a tennis tournament held annually over the last four night of january in melbourne australia and the tournament is first of four grand slam tennis events held each year preceding french open wimbledon and us open now let's discuss when was it founded so it was founded in 1905 and this year it has 108th edition and current men's champion is novak djokovic from serbia and the current women's champion is sofia kenin from united states and the next question is when is world cancer day celebrated answer is 4th february all right so the world cancer day is celebrated every year on 4th february Now let's know why this World Cancer Day is celebrated. So it is celebrated to raise awareness about cancer, educate people, convince governments and individuals worldwide to take action against the disease, to save millions of people from dying each year. And let me tell you in 1933 the International Cancer Control Association celebrated World Cancer Day for the first time in Geneva, Switzerland. And now let's know when it was started. So it was started from 2005. And what is the theme for the year 2020? So this year theme is I am and I will. And now moving on the next question, where was the Bharat Rang Mahotsav held? Answer is New Delhi. All right. So the Bharat Rang Mahotsav held in New Delhi. And now let's know who organized this event. So it is organized by the National Schools of Drama (NSD), and this is the 20th edition in which 
101 प्लेस टू बी स्टेज एट भारत रंग महोत्सव एंड लेट मी टेल यू द भारत रंग महोत्सव स्टार्टेड इन 1999 एंड इट इज एन एनुअल थिएटर फेस्टिवल ऑर्गेनाइज बाय द नेशनल स्कूल ऑफ ड्रामा न्यू दिल्ली एंड नाउ लेट्स नो व्हाट इज द पर्पस टू ऑर्गेनाइज दिस फेस्टिवल सो द फेस्टिवल वाज स्टार्टेड टू शोकेस द वर्क्स ऑफ इंडियन थिएटर वर्कर्स and it also attracts the international artist throughout the year and here is the next question who became the new prime minister of iraq so right answer is mohammad taufik all right so recently mohammad taufik became the new prime minister of iraq and let me tell you in iraq anti government protests have been going for the last 4 months and about 500 people have died in this Meanwhile Muhammad Taufik has been made the new prime minister of Iraq because of support of the protesters and this has been announced by the Iraqi president Barham Soleil and here we are talking about Iraq so now let's discuss the general knowledge questions for the exam point of view which can be asked so what is the capital of Iraq the capital of Iraq is Baghdad and currently who is the president of Iraq So the current president of Iraq is Barham Soleil and who is the newly appointed prime minister So Iraq's newly appointed prime minister is Muhammad Taufik and here it is the important one what is the currency of Iraq So the currency of Iraq is Iraqi dinar Now let's move on the next question who became India's goodwill ambassador at Tokyo Olympics 2020 So right answer is Saurav Ganguly. All right so recently Saurav Ganguly became the India's goodwill ambassador at Tokyo Olympics 2020. Now discuss the important points. So the Indian Olympic Association General Secretary Rajiv Mehta invited former Indian cricket captain Saurav Ganguly to become the goodwill ambassador of Indian team at the Tokyo Olympics. And let's know When will these Tokyo Olympic Games be played? So it will be played from July 24 to August 9 and currently Saurav Ganguly is the president of BCCI. And let me tell you in the previous event of Olympics India won only two medals, one silver and one bronze. Now let's talk about Indian Olympic Association. What is this Indian Olympic Association? So its short form is IOA. and it is a body responsible for selecting athletes to represent india in the olympic games and it is also responsible for the asian games and other international athletic meets for managing indian team in these events now let's discuss the general knowledge questions that can be asked from here where is the headquarter of indian olympic association so its headquarter is in new delhi and when was it founded so it was founded in 1927 and currently who is the president of indian olympic association so its current president is dr narendra batra and who is the current secretary general of indian olympic association so its current secretary general is rajiv mehta and the next question is which village was recently given the star village award Correct answer is Antwada Muzaffarnagar. All right. Now let's know why is this award given for. So Earth Day Network, an American NGO working worldwide in the field of environmental protection, and Antwada was awarded the Star Village Award for its support in reviving the Kali River. And Antwada is the first village in northern India which was awarded with this award. All right. Now if you want to download the PDF of these questions then you can download it through the link given below in the description box and this PDF will help you in the exam time when you want a very quick revision Now let's move on the next question where did Sampriti 9 the ninth military exercise between India and Bangladesh begin So right answer is Umroi Meghalaya Okay so it will begin in Umroi Meghalaya and the armies of india and neighboring bangladesh will conduct joint military exercise 
from this 3 February. Now let's know what is new in this military exercise. So in this exercise more emphasis will be placed on counter terrorism operations. And here you have to keep in mind that this will be the ninth military exercise between these two countries. And here we are talking about Bangladesh. So now let's discuss the general knowledge questions for the exam point of view. What is the capital of Bangladesh? Answer is Dhaka. And currently who is the Prime Minister of Bangladesh? So Sheikh Hasina is the current Prime Minister of Bangladesh. And who is the President of Bangladesh? So Abdullah Hamid is the President of Bangladesh. And now let's know what is the currency of Bangladesh. So the currency of Bangladesh is Taka. And here is the next question. Recently who became the first Indian wicket keeper to win the player of the series title in T20 cricket? So right answer is KL Rahul. So recently KL Rahul became the first Indian wicket keeper to win the player of the series title in T20 cricket. And apart from it, he also became the first player from the India to win the player of the series for the first time on New Zealand soil in the shortest format of cricket. And now let's have a look the report card of KL Rahul in this series. So in 5 matches he scored a total of 224 runs at an excellent average of 56 and he also scored 2 half centuries. Now move on the last question. In which year the Pradhan Mantri Kausal Vikas Yojana was started? So answer is 2015. Alright so Pradhan Mantri Kausal Vikas Yojana was started in 2015. And now let's know what is this Pradhan Mantri Kausal Vikas Yojana. So it is a skill development initiative scheme of the government of India for skill recognition and standardization. And the basic objective of this scheme is to increase qualification towards employable skills and to increase the working efficiency of prospective and existing daily wage earners by giving monetary awards and providing quality training to them. And here the points you have to keep in mind. When was it launched? So it was launched in 2015. And who launched this scheme? So it was launched by the Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Now let's discuss the yesterday's question which was asked in the previous video. And the question was that recently which word was declared as the Hindi word of the year 2019? So its correct answer is constitution. Alright, so constitution is the word which was declared as the Hindi word of the year 2019. And here is the today's question which you have to answer in the comment section. And the question is recently which city inaugurated the world's largest meditation center? Options are Chennai, Hyderabad, Bangalore and Amravati. Now you have to comment me the correct answer and don't forget to answer me this. Alright so that's all for today and thank you very much for watching this video and if this video is helpful for you then please do subscribe our channel, press the bell icon and never miss an update from us. And here quiz is also available so you must have to attend it and by this you will come to know why what you have learned today. Alright so now enjoy the today's general knowledge bonus facts.